Are you watching me, dear? <laughs> Good morning, and welcome to Tart Spider. It's finally arrived. After three shirts and three months, my John Pertwee cosplay shirt has arrived. So we're going to open it up, see if it fits, and try our cosplay outfit on tonight. Here it is. Wish me good luck. Woo -hoo -hoo. I see ruffles everywhere. So I'm going to shut this down and see if I can fit in to this shirt. Well, here it is. My John Pertwee cosplay costume. Complete with a third doctor sonic screwdriver, a cravat, a ruffled front shirt, ruffled cuffs, and a velvet jacket. What do you think? Do I look like the roundest third doctor you've ever seen? Good morning. Today in Tardis Spider, we will rank the Anthony Ainley stories as the master in classic Doctor Who. He will be the second version of the master. He is not the second actor to play the master, but we will touch on that when we close the video. So today, Anthony Ainley as the master in classic Doctor Who. The Keeper of Trocken. The planet of Trocken is ruled by an all-powerful keeper who will live for thousands of years and ensures that all will live a life of peace, harmony, and tranquility, free from evil and corruption. But now the keeper's time has come to an end. The doctor and Adric are summoned by the ailing keeper only to discover that all is not well, and evil threatens the future of Trocken, an evil that knows the doctor all too well. Anthony Ainley will play Tremas for most of the story, but not at the very end. The Trial of a Time Lord, the Ultimate Foe. In the concluding story of the season, with the doctor's trial in total disarray, a surprise witness and ally awaits in the wings. The Doctor flees to battle the Valiard in the Matrix. Is the Master friend or foe? The Planet of Fire Drawn to the island of Lanzarote by a strange signal, Turlo will rescue a drowning girl who has an alien artifact in her possession. The artifact has a strange triangular marking, the same as a brand on Turlo's arm. The mystery will deepen when Chameleon again falls under the control of a powerful mind. He will pilot the TARDIS to the volcanic planet of Karn. Turlo must face his own past, and the Doctor's oldest enemy he is lurking behind it all. Now this DVD has a retrospect on Anthony Ainley. Survival Taking Ace back home to Perryville, the doctor finds that something is very strange and wrong. Friends and neighbors are disappearing, while pets become the victims of unforeseen killers. Will the hunter become the hunted when only the strongest survive? The master is behind it all. This story, sadly, ends the run of classic Doctor Who. Time Flight As happens often, the TARDIS arrives by accident this time in the middle of Terminal 1 at Heathrow Airport. A supersonic Concorde has disappeared in mid-flight. The Doctor, Tegan, and Nyssa soon become involved in the search for the missing aircraft. What connects the missing plane with prehistoric Earth? And why and who is the mysterious sorcerer so interested in the TARDIS? Only a flight through time will reveal all. The King's Demons in the year 1215, the arrival of the TARDIS disturbs a medieval joust. King John is visiting Sir Ralph Fitzwilliam. The king proclaims that the doctor and his companions are friendly demons. Yet the king is strangely interested in the doctor's blue engine. It will soon be clear that King John and his champion, Sir Giles Estrom, are not who they appear. The doctor's old enemy is a threat to democracy on earth. Can he be stopped? The Mark of the Rani Drawn off course again, the TARDIS will materialize near Killingsworth coal pits in 19th century England. The Doctor and Perry will soon encounter the Rani. She is a Time Lord scientist 
who experiments on what she believes to be lesser species. Is the master a help or a hindrance to the Rani in this story? The Five Doctors The doctor's past cells are taken out of time and space, pulling them into a vast wilderness that is the battle arena known as the Death Zone. The doctor's former cells will join forces to solve this mystery. They will be facing the Yeti, the Cybermen, the Daleks, and more. Yet, these are not the fiends at the center of this dangerous mission. The Time Lords draft the Master, or do they use him? Someone is using them to find the secrets of Rassilon, the first and most powerful Time Lord of all. The Master is part of, but is not the villain in this story. Castrovalva, the high price paid for defeating the Master's plan, it's falling from the Pharaoh's Project Telescope. The Doctor will need to regenerate. They will escape the Master's clutches, but the Doctor's regeneration is failing. Adric is missing. Can Tegan and Nyssa steer the TARDIS to Castrovalva and save the day? Castrovalva is known for its healing powers, but what evil waits at the center of this simple paradise? Logopolis Hoping to restore the ability of the TARDIS to blend in with its surroundings, the Doctor and Adric head to Earth to repair the chameleon circuit. Once there, they will meet a feisty Australian air hostess, Tegan Dravenka, and face danger with a master who has stolen a new body. Can the people of the planet Logopolis help? And who is the strange and ghostly watcher? Anthony Ainley again will appear as the master in the 1997 video game Destiny of the Doctors. And now for the other actors who played the first master. We all know that Roger Delgado is the first master. But in The Keeper of Trocken, he is played by Jeffrey Beavers. And in The Deadly Assassin, the role is taken on by Peter Pratt. This week, a recommendation is easy. It's going to be watching Doctor Who. Many Who-tubers are doing watch-alongs with classic and new stories from Doctor Who. So watch your favorite YouTuber do a watch-along. Enjoy Doctor Who. Enjoy your journey through time and space. Stay safe, and I hope to hear and see from all of you very soon.